Hi everyone. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and take that idea of significant figures and actually practice applying it. So sig figs aren't something we just do for fun. They are part of calculations in chemistry. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So when we do calculations in a science class, answers need to be rounded to the correct number of significant figures because we need to preserve the integrity of the measurements. So if the scientists took a lot of time getting really detailed measurements, we need to account for that in our answer. Versus if someone kind of rushed through things and didn't give us a lot of detail, we need to make sure that our answer isn't misleading our audience and letting them think that we have really detailed numbers. So the procedure for rounding according to significant figures varies based upon the mathematical operation that you are using to get your answer. So let's go ahead and look at that. Okay, so we break this up into two main categories. Anytime we multiply and divide, we're going to take our answer and round it to the smallest number of significant figures. So we look at the data points that we start with, and we evaluate how many sig figs they have. If one has two and one has five, two is the smaller number, so we're going to round our answer to two sig figs. For addition and subtraction, this one's a little more tricky. We want to round our answer to the least accurate place value. And we're going to talk through some examples with that. Okay, so for this first one, I am adding numbers. So just like usual, go ahead, figure out those calculations, plug it into your calculator. So my calculator answer for this is 5.1794. Now, I need to figure out what is the least accurate place value. So my 5.023 is the red three is in the thousandths place. And my second number, the 0 0.1564, the blue, that number is in the 10 thousandths place. So the red, that thousandths place is the least accurate place value, meaning I want to round my calculator answer so the last digit is in the thousandths place. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off that four. Four is small enough. We just cut it off. We don't round anything else up. So the correct answer for this number is 5.179. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these two numbers together. Pretty simple, 578. So again, when you think about sig figs, the number 500, because there is no decimal point, has only one significant digit, and that's the five in the hundreds place. Versus 78, that has the blue number in the ones place. Well, hundreds is least accurate versus ones. So I go ahead and add these two together, my correct answer when I round for sig figs is 600. So the way I kind of think about examples like this, for, say for example, you're in the lunchroom, there's a ton of people, you can't actually count them all because they're moving around, but it's about a third of the student population at the school, so there's about 500 people in there. Now, you have some more people join the line and you count them as they go through the lunch line and there's 78 new people added. So overall, we don't know we had exactly 500 to begin with, but we knew we were kind of in that ballpark area. And if we add 78 more, we don't know that we have exactly 578 people because we didn't count that first number. It was just an estimate. So now all that we can say is we have about 600 people, but we don't know the exact number. Okay, so now we're getting to the multiplication and division, and this is what we're going to use most commonly in chemistry. So we go ahead, we plug this into our calculator, and we get a big long stream of numbers. So 5.86854466. And then don't forget units, so in this case, grams per mole. Now, if we look at this, the 6.23 has three sig figs, and the 1.065 has four sig figs. The smaller number of sig figs is three. So I'm going to take my calculator answer and round it to three sig figs. So 5.86 and I'm chopping off an eight, which is a big number. It's bigger than five. So I need to round up in this case. So 5.87 grams per mole is my answer. So let's go ahead and try another one. 25 times 100. We go ahead and maybe you don't even need a calculator for this one, but 2,500. So now if we think about sig figs, I have two sig figs in the number 25. For the number 100, I just have one sig fig because I have no decimal points. 
So in this case, the least number of sig figs is one. So I need to round my answer to one sig fig. So 2,500 is going to round up to 3,000 because five and up, we round it up. Okay, my last example, 4.532 divided by two. So I'm gonna go ahead, get my calculator answer 2.266. And then again, I think about sig figs. So 4.532, all of those digits are significant. So I have four sig figs in my first value. My second one, I only have one digit. So only one sig fig. So I'm gonna round my answer to one significant figure, meaning two. So this is a concept that's going to take a lot of practice. The best way is just to really get your hands dirty, try a few problems, check the answers and see how you're doing. If you have any questions on this, please let me know. I am happy to help you. Otherwise, thanks for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye.